about my first strike. You never hear. She says something about you. Never hear. Then she says something about you. Bro, I've already said my piece of information. How you doing? You good? Are you here? No. Wow. Unfortunately, she's not here. Anyway, see me out to see me out to swap. Did you all just notice that Mel lived out in grooving a bad guy? Ah, you see the way he's stylishly just the admire Chumzi. And Bella also reacted to that. I know say Groovy cannot wait to just do one or two things with Chumzi. And me too. I can't wait for that to happen because I love content. There is already a noticeable registered rectangle between Chumzi, Groovy, Elo Swag and Fina. We know say for the very first Saturday, say Fina don't go already kiss Elo Swag. Elo Swag say you know what Fina. Fina now moved on to Groovy. Why Fina is doing something with Groovy? Groovy is also admiring and stylishly want to do something with Chomzi. And we know say Elo Swag has already dumped Fina for Chomzi. Chomzi is still the darling here. She has not even made up her mind whether she really wants to date Elo Swag or not. Now, Elo Swag is now scared ever since Groovy entered their level one house because he knows Chomzi is attracted to Groovy. As much as Fina is aware that Groovy is attracted to Chomzi, she just they, they pretend like say if Groovy ever tries to do something with Chomzi, said it's not gonna affect her of her head when she was narrating to Deji last night that yes, she knows say, that she will be being dragged outside. Say she knows say for Twitter they go they drag her like a better pass my generator based on the fact that she was the one that always advised beauty each time beauty and Groovy had misunderstanding. So as they call this qualified beauty, say that she could come come still with the man. Say she's ready to explain if there is any need for her to make any explanation. So as uh, Groovy come they ask Chomzi now, say sorry, are you in this room? Say the way everybody come they react. And when Chomzi said no, I know they for this particular room. Ah, Groovy was like, ah, I thought say I go strike this night. Oh, why? Oh, hi, welcome. Yeah, okay, like, well, she's actually you. my best friend here. Eh? She's your best friend. Yeah, yeah, she's your best friend. We're in the same house. I'm always seeing you with Chichi though, like. Yeah, yeah, she, she, she's my best friend. Two best friends. Welcome to another impromptu segment of Analytic Analysis of Rebel and just season seven level up with Ife Star. And on to this impromptu segment, I'm just going to emphasize on everything that happened on the first night that Groovy made his way into level one house. As he entered, everybody can't give him the very nicest reception. Everybody just wants to interact with him. A lot of people were asking him questions instantly. Bella and Chesna asked him about what led to Bella and um, Beauty's disqualification. He said one or two things and tried to share other things. Even when Bella now inquired from a groovy, and yes, and now you are the one that triggered her that led to the first strike. He said, No, no. He said, No, no. He said, No, no. He said, No, no. So, don't you come call a big groovy? Go, go, do his bed. So, she wanted them to talk let them interact she she wanted to know one or two things about the level two housemate and also exactly what happened between groovy and beauty yeah so like me and me and fina we kind of like you know we kind of like work on everything so yeah that was i mean that was really fun um Doin, I just have to applaud you on this particular one. Thank you so much for not being judgmental. And I love the way you admitted that the beauty that you spent seven days during on a lockdown days is not the beauty that was disqualified by Biggie. So Groovy Conde narrates, give Doin say that if only beauty has trusted him, Groovy, say maybe beauty will not be disqualified now i can't tell and say when it comes to you saying that beauty did not trust you groovy you should understand that you people are just getting to know each other so if to say oh no no before then he beauty could have known this is something you can do and something you cannot do so at the end of the day she was like okay it don't happen it don't happen and doing also ask groovy back i hear say when they do they do something with fina now of course groovy accepted but said that ah it's still there the early stage they discussed a lot of things and at the end of the day doing also appreciated uh, groovy for just giving her all the time that she needed and at the end of the day they hugged it out she's mad good man smart very pretty Right. Nah, for sure. For sure. It's just the alcohol thing. Really. All right. Yeah, I really messed it up. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I don't want to... I know I've already taken a lot of your time. And both doing them move to the lounge with Groovy. As they enter there, before they even enter that lounge, there was already a discussion that was happening between Chase, Bella, Chichi, Chumzi before Rachel now joined them. And then through that discussion, it's all about Chomzi saying that she might just try to do one or two things with Groovy. Chi Chi was still telling her friend, I beg, leave Groovy alone, no, that she cannot even date any man that's just dating another woman immediately after the first girlfriend got disqualified. And Chomzi was just trying to say, eh, what if it's like that? Or what is it like that? Chi Chi was even telling her, 
Chums, you should be you know say they say Fina and Groovy were already doing something. I be you know see the day where Groovy can't kiss Fina for uh, Arena after they did the upper final tax. Chums, it was just like mm -hmm. even Bella and Chess come upon the advisor said this is not exactly what you need. Look at Elo Swag that is all over you. Look at Elo Swag that has been begging you for this love. Why not give Elo Swag a chance? Why are you insisting on trying to do anything with Groovy? Even as our chichi got the advice, Chums, Chums is not their blood. Now she could come and say this. <laughs> If I'm not saying the way I'm saying it, then that's cool. Okay, let's see. I don't like it. Like, it's like someone will be trying to communicate with you. You just don't get it. You just start, okay. you start fighting. I teach you all the pocketbook and tight content. Even like I say, you're just trying to come in between this particular content that is about to occur. Please, I don't want this thing. It's okay for you to just give a sincere advice to your best friend, Chumzi. But if this girl is not obliging, Allah has to serve us content. She is already in love. In fact, she likes Groovy so much. Maybe say Groovy is our kind of man. Not be last week Saturday, where Chess got to tell Chumzi, leave Groovy alone. This guy is just playing a game. That he is already into Fina. Allow him. Chumzi was like, eh, he told me now and even told me to keep it a secret. Chumzi, just tell us now, do you want Groovy or do you want Elo Swag? If not me, you follow Elo Swag, but if you don't want Elo Swag, Oh yeah, make gonna jam all the heads together. Meanwhile, they are not even aware that they are definitely going to be merged on Sunday. I beg, I am begging you, oh, Biggie, no just evict Maraka, no evict Groovy. I just want to see exactly what is going to happen because we need all the cycles, rectangle, pentagon, and even square triangle of every shape that is about to happen. If they mix them together now, there is going to be errors to have chumsy. Fina and Groovy. Let's see how it's going to play out. And finally, if they are mixed also, Chichi is going to be there. Deji is there and Amaka is there. Amaka is already loving Deji. Let me not use the word liking. So if Amaka realized that Chichi and Deji are just into themselves, what did Amaka go come to? Now, Amaka said that he was attracted to Giddy Fire. Whereas Giddy Fire is trying to do something with Diana. So Diana is trying to say, mm, really, I say this is not going to work now. And Diana is liking Brian. And Brian is liking Diana. Now, it been that's it. Modella is trying to like Brian. Brian is trying to like Diana. Now Diana is liking Brian. Whereas Giddyfire wants to do something with Diana. Now Giddyfire is going for uh, Diana. Whereas Amaka would have wanted to do something with Giddyfire. When I see as this is going to go, it will play turn, 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 it will play turn, 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 turn. The only certified established ship that is already selling in this particular season seven level up has to do with Sheila. I mean Bella and Chase. I don't suspect Adekunle and Rachel, but Bella I said that only Rachel Kukuma the pressure. Now they apply pressure for this particular ship. But like I said, I definitely not too like a uh, kind of uh, Rachel's person. The only person we can do on your own now will not even get any best friend or any ship now doing a fight big you do just come make these people. I just truly want to be entertained. It's, it's very obvious, like it's very obvious that who you really like is him. So if that's what you want, stop seeking for others and go for what you want. Finally, as Duin and the Groovy walked into the lounge to join Bella, Chase, Chumzi, Rachel, and Chichi. Now, so Bella can begin the attack doing again. Can they tell her, say, you be like, say, you don't go for another therapy session with Groovy. Now, doing on the lab, but I think it's about that time. Don't you just have to just put these people in their place? It's okay. It's not really like every time that she's sitting with every guy, it has to be a therapy session. But then you just taking it with all of She not even care. At the end of the day, all of them now sat at the lodge as if they have not even gossiped behind doing now they're going to talk about every other happens that has been happening before you know it um rachel and the uh, chums gukuma con the play game and at the end of it chums now admitted that like she has been saying that she is certainly for nobody however here yeah, the truth is that if they place groovy and place elo swag chums you like groovy more than elo swag ah there go i can't wait for content to just keep on happening and i know that you that is watching this particular analysis couldn't have even wait for them to serve us content back to back because i know owner trust me to be bringing it to you guys back to back as well so keep on promoting and publicizing my channel by clicking on the red icon down below to subscribe to my channel and also do endeavor to turn on the notification bell that is right beside the subscribe button for you not to miss out once i upload any improper segment of analytic analysis of reporting and just season seven level up with invest Or you make one of the match according to your scenarios in the comment section. Who do you think that Big is definitely going to evict tomorrow during the live eviction show? My mind they tell me say it has to be with 
cares and fan savvy because from the street of Twitter or from the street of the entire social media, I barely see fan savvy trending with cares based on how they voted for them. And if you just want to analyze it based on all the game that they have played, fan savvy is the only time he just contributes, maybe during the task and when he is just twerking. So we don't need him to just remain in that house. And as for cares, we hear say that his wife lost their unborn child. So I think it's time Kez have to go home to just be with the wife. Of course, I said what I said. So Biggie, please just do us a favorable favor by evicting Kez, our fan serving. And please leave Amaka and Groovy for us because we need to be entertained. And let the triangles, pentagon, rectangle, square, circle, triangle of the ship continues. Bye-bye.